a dedicated steward of the environment, the Urban Development Corporation, UDC, has been seeing to the preservation and development of beaches across the island. The aim is to provide access to clean, safe and affordable public beaches. What we have committed to do with the Prime Minister's mandate is to make sure that in our compelling story to achieve Vision 2030, we deliver to the public restored or enhanced beaches. The continued development of beaches in Montego Bay is part of the Waterfront Rehabilitation Project. This area was developed by the UDC in 1974 through a process of land reclamation. The work will include the repairs of groins along Closed Harbor, Walter Fletcher and One Man Beaches. This will strengthen the breakwater system to prevent erosion off the beach. The overall development will cost approximately three million US dollars. However, the UDC has secured funding of 600,000 US dollars from the German government through the Caribbean Community Climate Change Center, 5Cs, to begin work on the groins. The work will also support the sustainability of a state-of-the-art marine park at Closed Harbor Beach. So there we'll be, we'll be building the 16-acre first-class beach park in the Caribbean. It will have five different zones, active and passive, with jogging trails. It's going to have spaces for um, the beach, cabanas, um, umbrellas, all the amenities that the people come to expect from a uh, ocean city. To ensure that the people and visitors of Montego Bay will have access to public beaches, the corporation renovated and reopened the Walter Fletcher Beach, having resumed management of the property after leasing it for a number of years. This first phase of development at the Popular Beach facility is funded by the Tourism Enhancement Fund. The beach is opened from Wednesday to Sunday and can be accessed at $500 for adults and $200 for children. The slide is very good and the, and the beach is good. Everything is good. It is very good. I love here. Thank you for doing this. I'm enjoying everything right here. It's good to be a part of this. Um, we always support recreational activities. And thanks to our partners at TEF and the Ministry of Tourism who have been our major benefactors, we've been able to carry out some initial rehabilitation works here to reopen the facility to the public. We see it's very important that we retain these um, beach parks as social and civic spaces for our people to enjoy. And we are there along with our partners of NEPA to ensure there is added protection and that people are able to access their beach at an affordable price. I really feel good that it opened back. You know, and it, it was a nice beach from a long time. So we're very glad that it opened, that we can come with our families and friends and enjoy ourselves. This is a prime public beach in Montego Bay. But much will be done to change the experience and the conversation about the entire waterfront. It will add to the attraction, dimension of attractions and attract more people. It also means our capacity will improve because we can now have more visitors who will find something to do that is interesting and attractive. We have always find it a pleasure to work with UDC in seeing to it that their projects is carried out on time and um, their whole planning and you know is seamless when it comes to the council. Other developments slated for Montego Bay are the divestment and development of the Catherine Hall Entertainment Complex and development of coastline real estate properties in Seaside and Success North. If you are an interested investor in these properties, then... We I really advise the folks to get together with consortiums so that they can create the, the capital needed to develop that. It's two huge sites for major hotel programs. And I would like to see our Jamaican people invest in that too. The Urban Development Corporation, making development happen for you. To learn more about the work of the Urban Development Corporation, call 876-656-8031 or visit their website at udcja.com. You may also follow them on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram or visit their information center on the ground floor, Kingston Mall, downtown Kingston.